Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. It's Angela Prophet, your event and productivity therapist, coming to you from the heart of Music City in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you so, so much for tuning in to this episode of Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the event industry, what we have learned from them, and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success within the hospitality industry. Today, I'm joined by the best communications and event consultant in the business, Allison Burry. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to share some of our past experiences together. We have definitely been through some unique situations over the years. What are we discussing today? Today, well, the tip is going to be Reality TV is not cracked up what it seems to be. And this was my first experience working on a set of production and design and all the TV whirlwind experiences. It was definitely a unique one. Right. I bet you were thinking like, what have I gotten myself into now? (laughs) (laughs) So I'll start off by saying that a production company contacted me and thankfully I've had some experience in working with production companies in the past. And they basically told me that they need to have a Valentine's themed event for a television show. And it was like in five days. And I honestly thought it was a joke. And they asked me if I could pull it together. I mean, obviously I could pull it together because I've been in the industry for a while and all of the vendors and the design team that I work with They're just on top of it. So, obviously, we had to use things that were going to be in-house. And, of course, as a production company, they wanted to know what could be donated. And it was going to be on a premier network and yada, yada, yada. Well, in Nashville, we have multiple television shows that are broadcasted across the world. And it just doesn't work like that. People are professionals and we have to pay labor And, you know, I told the production company, I can definitely do it, but I can't do anything for free. It just doesn't work that way in our city because we're growing and there's so much work to go around. And so I got them quotes and we went back and forth a few times and then we finally agreed on a design. And again, it was like a Valentine's theme. And I never really asked like what the show was for. I mean, I don't watch TV, and I just, I don't have time, and boy, did I ever wish that I did look up the show, and I did watch it, and one of the vendors asked, so I asked the producer, and they said, oh, it's for a gypsy-type wedding show, and that's really all I got, and again, I, I didn't really care what it was for, but again, I should have asked. So we pulled everything together, we found a venue, did a site visit, the producer was happy with everything, and we loaded in, we set up for the event, and then the event started to happen, and all the people that started coming in, the, the, just their outfits and the dresses alone, I mean, they were wild, like, I mean, I'd never seen anything like it before, I mean... Think of like Bella and princesses and these humongous ball gowns with like lights underneath them and moving lights and like strobe lights under girls' dresses. It was just nuts. And I I really didn't ask too many questions. I tried to stay out of the way. Um, And then I realized that it was some show about gypsies and how they arrange marriages and there were multiple families involved with this show and they actually like truly hated each other um you know the producers did stop a few times and say you know walk in again look at her this way do this and you know some of it's staged that's just production and reality tv 
But in terms of the emotional feelings that these girls had towards each other and these families had towards towards each other was definitely not staged. Like, they did not get along. I didn't really know the background of it, but apparently that's normal in their culture. So, as the night went on, oh my gosh, like, we tried to stay in the back and really just let the event roll and take place. I mean... In a production, you know, you have an order and there is still a timeline and the producer and the director know what needs to be happening. And at one point, we hear people start screaming at each other and um, I popped around from the pipe and drape and they're like jumping over couches and pulling hair and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is new furniture. My furniture vendor is going to kill me. Um, and I so badly wanted to go over there and stop it, but there's like cameras and boom mics and stuff all over the place and they're just letting them go at it. And I think it was like one of the moms and then the daughters who was one of the bride elects, I guess you would call it. And they're like screaming and scratching and pulling each other's hair and they let them go on and on, whatever. And then one of the kids like runs into the women's restroom which is completely surrounded by mirrors. And in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're totally going to break mirrors in there. And like, somebody's going to draw blood. And again, I wasn't going in there because I was not subjecting myself to that behavior. And sure enough, like they were arguing and fighting. And I don't know if somebody got pushed into the mirror, but some of the mirrors did break. So in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, there goes the damage deposit fee that we're not going to get back, but whatever. And it was just drama, like building throughout the entire night um, between all of these families. And the thing that really was awful towards the end of the night is that some of the little boys and the dads started to get involved. And I mean, these are like big guys. And... um, you know, their muscles are humongous, and they they just look very scary. And so one of the younger kids had run out the back door, and, like, the cameras are chasing him and running, and the little kid, like, lifts up his nice button-down T-shirt, and you see a gun um, in his, like, in his pants and his belt is like holding the gun in. And at this point, after I saw this, I was like, okay, this is either dangerous or it's not loaded, but this is crazy. And this is not something that I want to be involved in, nor do I want my company name on it. And that's when the director, um, he was like cut, you know, all the cameras went off. And that's when I knew that was not staged. Like that kid was crazy carrying a gun in there. And, The producer, like, talked to him and eventually got the gun away from him. But, again, that was not something that was staged. And I think the director and the producer was just as shocked as I was. Um, But those are some of the highlights of of that crazy experience. And, you know, there were a lot of other things that we had to deal with behind the scenes, like lots of paperwork. Like, everyone there is a guest. Um, had to sign waiver forms and then the band that was in the background we had we I mean again we're in Music City USA so it was pretty easy to find a singer but with a five-day notice to get a full band thank god we have some great relationships with some good people in town but they all had to be original music and you can't just play any old song in the background on these television shows And so I wish that I would have done a little bit more research on, you know, it wasn't a bad network, but just I wish I would have done more research on the show. And then when the show came out, it's like I didn't really care to tell anybody. (laughs) Like we weren't involved in all that. Like we just decorated and provided the props that they asked for. I mean, it was definitely a great experience. I mean, Allison, with it being your first set production like what were you thinking (laughs) I think I was in a little bit of shock honestly like that is not anything I had ever been accustomed to or around before and 
Um, it was definitely a very unique experience and one that I haven't experienced since then. It was a <laughs> so far a one time only thing, um, but it was pretty. I mean, we learned a lot and it was eye opening as far as the way different cultures um, behave and act with each other. And I'll never forget. It was so funny. My parents ended up watching the show and I was driving my dad's car at the time and he called me when they were watching it and he was like oh my gosh and he was so nervous because all that gun thing was right in front of the car and he was like well first off my car made it on tv so that's pretty <laughs> cool <laughs> but he was like they didn't like shoot a hole a bullet into the car did they and I was like no your car is just fine dad <laughs> but it was really funny and uh, when we explained kind of like different things that that happened that day, everybody was like, are you serious? That sounds crazy. And it was just definitely a very unique experience. And for my one of my first events, it was at the beginning of my time working here. I was like, this place is crazy. I hope all of the events aren't like this. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> but it was definitely fun. But Angela, after that, what would you say your biggest takeaway from everything that happened that, that day was? Wow. I would just, to sum it up, like, do your research. Um, you know, being on TV and part of a production set can be, a, we have had some great experiences, but it's not always cracked up what you think it's going to be like being on TV. Like, I'll give you one more example. And there was a network that had contacted us. I mean, you see the emails, like almost on a weekly basis, we get shopped for people wanting to do these wedding shows. And one of the wedding shows was all on DIY, do it yourself, <laughs> which in our terms means like us do it. And they needed help with a show on teaching couples how to DIY things, which again, does not go along with my services or the brand. And so protecting your brand, like it's so, so, so important because if that show comes on and people see that, it would confuse clientele because we don't preach DIY events. And, um, you know, again, like being on TV, it's like it comes and goes. Like people remember for about a week and then the show goes off, it happens, and then it's like no one remembers. Like it's all back to normal. So just if you get pitched to be on a television show, again, it can be great for exposure and it can be a great um, return on investment when you invest time and maybe props and decor, but just make sure that it goes along with your brand. Definitely. And Angela, can you share with our listeners a few of the products and resources that you have available to help wedding and event planners? Yeah. So you can visit our website, AngelaProfit.com. Be sure to check out the blog. We have lots of great articles and resources that are always available on the blog. And be sure to sign up for email updates where we share tips and resources only with our email clients that subscribe to our list. And also we have free webinars with all types of different subjects. And then we have a few live events each year. So be sure to watch social media and um, the emails that we send out, and we will keep you up to date on all the great stuff that we have going on. Awesome. There's definitely a lot of great content and all of that. Uh, well, Angela, thank you so much for sharing all of your valuable advice with us today. I can't wait for next week to share more of our incredible experiences together. And thank you for joining me, Allison. And thank you so much to all of our listeners for joining us today on Weddings Unveiled, Professional Tips and Secrets on Wedding Planning and Event Design. And as Allison said, be sure to tune in next week to learn more from our past experiences. If you found this podcast helpful, please share it with other wedding and event professionals. Be sure to subscribe today so you never, ever miss the juicy details of Weddings Unveiled. I'm so passionate about helping other event pre professionals. And with my background in psychology, I appreciate that our best selves develop from real life situations. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to tune in next week for more great tips on how to grow your business. And if you have a question or an unresolved issue that you would like guidance on, connect with us on the website at AngelaProfit.com. Until next time, remember to stay productive and profitable. You've been listening to Weddings Unveiled with Angela Profit. Join us next time for more insights to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. For more great resources, Head over to AngelaProfit.com.